Welcome to Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial to track phone calls and lead form submission in this new interface. In this video, I will set up both phone call and lead form conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager. You don't need to add so many cards because I will explain it in a very easy and step by step way. In fact, I will create Google Ads conversion tracking for a real account live in front of you so you can follow each and every step. So let's start with our Google Tag Manager. We will set up Google Tag Manager here. For those who haven't set up, you can follow me along and we can set it up in around 4 45 seconds and for those who have already set up google tag manager you can still follow me along and we can test if yours is working fine or not so let's go to tagmanager.google.com click on create account and here you can give your business name right here so i can give mine this is just a demo account so don't worry then you can select the right country and then you would give your website here After giving your website, click on web and then click on create. You can read it all if you have enough time, but I don't have. So I would click on accept and yes. Now, the only thing which is left here, we need to add these codes to our website, which is very easy. If you have a developer, you can send it to him or we can do it right now. So just copy these codes from here and we will go to our WordPress dashboard. First thing we need to do is to add a plugin. So just go to plugins, click on add plugin right here, and then search for HFCM. So I would search it right here. So you would click on active here and it would be installed. This is free of cost. And after installing that, you would see it somewhere here. So I would open it and click on add snippet. First thing, give it a name because the first code is, is the head. So I would just give it the name head GTM and then keep all the entries same. And then you would copy from here and paste it right here. Then you will click save and we will go back and add another snippet. For this one, this is a body tag. So you would go with body GTM, keep all the entries same again and then copy from here and paste it right here and then click save as for me you can see i have already added these two codes and after doing that you would come back to your google tag manager and we can test our website here so here you will give your website right here and then click on test it will tell you if your code is rightly placed or not and now we have successfully added our google tag manager now it's time to set up our conversion tracking so you would go to here goals and here you would click on create conversion action right here so the first thing that we are going to set up is call from ads tracking this is from the call extension on our ads so you will unselect this one and then click save and continue and here you would go to phone call lead click on it click on add conversion action and here you have two options call from ads and call from website wizards so just click on call from ads click on edit settings so here first you need to check if it is a primary action we want it we want to optimize our ads for it so you can keep it right it is and then you can give it any name after that you have to select the value since this is a lead generation account and i don't want to give one dollar value here so don't use a value i would recommend you to do that too and then click on count which is the one keep the recommended option and then call length so I would recommend the call length to be around 45 seconds. So you can do it. You can do it in 30 seconds. That would work well for you. And then click on done. After doing that, nothing to do here. Just click on save and continue and click on finish. And you can see it right here. So the second conversion action, we will track clicks on our website call button. So I can show it right here. So this is my landing page. And we have this call button here so i want to track how many people click on this button so just simply go here click on create conversion action so you will come here and here you need to unselect this one and then click on edit just scan your website if you have a google tag so we don't have a google tag edit i can do it right now this will just take five seconds so to add your google tag you need to have your google tag id and how you can find that i will just go to my google ad account and then click on tools and data manager here click on manage and here is my google tag id so i would just copy it from here 
and then i will go to my google tag manager click on tags new and here we will create our google tag just click on google tag right here give your id which you have copied keep it initialization all pages and then click on save after doing that i will just submit this one click close and here we will check if our tag is added or not so now i would click on done click on edit again and then scan so as you can see this is installed on your site for you it would be the same and then click on done here click save and continue and here what we want to track we want to track our contact because this is click to call button so click on contact here click on setup manually using code and then go to conversion settings first thing whether you want to optimize it primarily i would do it secondary because i just don't want to give the google a signal if that is my actual lead so click on secondary here and then you can give click to call don't use any value again because that wouldn't be realistic and then click on count one keep it like it is and then click on done so click on save and continue and here we would use our google tag manager which we have created earlier so click on google tag manager here we do have our conversion id we do have our conversion label and this is the only thing that we need here so i would just copy both of these things from here and go to my google tag manager and in google tag manager the first thing you need to do before doing your conversion tracking of google ads is to create your conversion linker tag click on this new tag so we will create our conversion linker give it a name tag configuration and here we simply go to conversion linker click on triggering and trigger it on all pages so i would click on all pages and then save now we do have our id and we do have our conversion label so we'll create our tag for clicks to call button right now so again click on new tag here i would name it click to call go to tag configuration google ads and this is google ads conversion tracking so click on it and here you would give your conversion id i do have it already so i would give it right here conversion label just paste it right here and then we go to triggering and for triggering we need to create a new trigger and which is very simple click on this plus sign just give it a name so i would give it this click on it click on just links right here and then we want to track some link clicks where our click url that contains tel so we want to track this how many people click on that link so just simply come up here give tel and then that's it click on save and then click on save again and we have created our conversion tag for clicks to call so we would go to back to our google ads and click finish now coming to our third phone call conversion action which is call from our website so what we will track here if someone visits our websites and then click on this and make an actual phone call then we can track it in our google ads so earlier we just tracked the click now we will track our whole call so we'll go to our conversions here and then click on create conversion action and here you would unselect this one keep this one selected click save and continue click on see all and then click on phone call lead click on add conversion action earlier we selected call from ads now we would do call from website wizards click on it click on someone calls a number shown on my website so i would click on it and then here you need to paste the number right it is so here just paste your number whatever it is i can paste mine and here you need to give it exactly like it's shown on your website so i can show it how it's shown on mine it's shown here like this and in the same way i have shown it like this so i would paste it the same as it is shown here so google can replace this number with their forwarding number so they can track it so again i would paste it here click on use this event now click on edit settings here and here yes we want to drag it primary action keep it like it is just give it a name call from website we again we don't want to use any value for that so don't use a value recommended count is one just confirm the number if it is right and then call length again i want to track 45 seconds click on done and then click on save and continue so here you might see 
two options here not google tag manager but we want to add it from a google tag manager so what we're gonna do click on this event snippet and here you do have everything which is required for google tag manager first you do have the id and then you have this conversion label so instead of just doing it here you can just click close click finish and then here you would find the exact one which you have created right now which is this one then click on it click on it again and here you can see your google tag manager options just click on it and simply you can copy it from here you could have copied it from that snippet as well but here it is very easy so just copy this one i would copy this conversion label and then i would go back to my google tag manager so again it's time to create a new tag for our new conversion action just just name it call from website click on tag configuration click on google ads and this time you would choose google ads call from website conversion so i have chose this one now i have to give that same number which i gave it there so i would give it right here now I need to paste our conversion id and conversion label so i have pasted these both of them and now we need to create a trigger so for this one the trigger would be all the pages so just click on all pages here click on save and that's it now we have tracked all three conversion actions of our phone calls and it's time to go for form submission so we want to track this particular form right here we get traffic from google ads they land here they complete this form and this goes to a thank you page and we want to track that with the help of google tag manager so let's do that go to google ads just like before click on create conversion action and here this time you will unselect this just keep it like it is and then go with save and continue click on see all and here we have our submit lead form so you would click here set up manually using code so click here and then click on conversion settings yes this is the primary action we want to optimize our ads for that and the second yeah i like this name and the third i don't want to give any value to that again because for lead is quite different so I would not use anything here count yes i want to count one all these click through conversion window engage to conversion window everything is right and then i would click on done and click on save and continue since we will use google tag manager here here we have that right option we have our conversion label and conversion id so we will use these two things in our google tag manager so let's go to our google tag manager click on create a new tag and here i would mention my lead form click on tag configuration google ads and again google ads conversion tracking we will give conversion id and conversion label so let me copy it from here both of these values and i would paste it right here so after pasting these two things just go to triggering so here we will create a new trigger that triggers when someone visited a thank you page so i would click on plus sign right here I would name this thank you page click on trigger configuration we want page view not all page views some page views where our page url that contains thank you so i would just paste it here because the url of my thank you page is this one so i am just pasting it here and then i would click save click save on this tag and here before we test our conversion tracking i will click on submit publish continue and while it's doing that i will go to my google ads and click on finish here uh, we have set up our lead form but we have to test it so for testing i will again go to google tag manager close this one go back here and here i would click on preview i have this my landing page here click on connect then i would go to my form and here i would submit the details so just testing it out and then click on send message so thank you page has loaded and now we need to check whether google tracked it or not i would minimize this one come here and here you can see our lead form google ads tag is firing so that means our google ads conversion tracking is successfully finished and if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments
I hope you like this tutorial, now your conversion tracking is set up perfectly and I have a lot of other tutorials like Google Ads for beginners, Google Ads for local businesses which you can see in the description below and don't forget to subscribe our channel because we are going to share a lot of valuable information related to Google Ads for you. If you are still not sure about a lot of different things, you can go to scalekit.com and schedule a free 30 minute consultation with me. So see you in the next video on another topic. Thank you.